And I spoke late today with Senator Joe Manchin, who is one of the people involved in negotiations, and he told me that he hears from the White House that they staff their plans to present a proposal to the president this week. But, Judy, it is not clear if the president is going to say a clear yes or no on that proposal. Manchin and others hope so, but we will wait and see. So much to keep track of, Lisa. Yes. A lot, a lot on the plate. But the other big cloud hanging over expectations right now has to do with whether there's going to be uh, uh, a move toward proceeding with an impeachment inquiry of the president. What are Democrats saying about that right now? We have some good reporting from me and our producer Sahir Khan. Also, Democrats told us this morning in the House on the Judiciary Committee that they actually want to move past or they would say expand past the Mueller report in regards to impeachment. They will now be investigating and focusing on other things involving the president. As far as impeachment goes, though, they are going to change the process and they're going to allow themselves sort of some more powers within the Judiciary Committee. Um, they will take a vote on that procedural idea on Thursday. It's important because it would allow Jerry Nadler, the Democratic chairman of that committee, more abilities to link any hearings to impeachment if he wants. His staff would have more power, perhaps attorneys to do behind closed doors questioning. And we do expect a slew of important witnesses coming up. Now, is this an official impeachment inquiry? Right. A court might say no. Democrats are trying to say yes, but the majority of Democrats want one. It's not clear if they have one or not. So yet another issue, uh, trade, uh, Democrats, Congress figuring out what to do. The president is pushing the Democrats to ratify the U.S.-Mexico uh, trade agreement. Meantime, the, you've got this trade war escalating between China and the United States. Where do you see that moving? I think the first thing to focus on is that U.S.-Mexico-Canada trade deal, USMCA, uh, because House Democrats, the pressure is on them from many sort of uh, many business interests, including agricultural interests in swing districts for vulnerable Democrats. They want to get this through. But House Democrats aren't sure they like the deal. They're not sure it has enough protections for workers in it. So these next three weeks, Judy, will be critical. My reporting from talking to Democrats today, they're not quite sure what their strategy is on this yet. Okay, and very quickly, last thing I want to ask you about, clock ticking on yeah. coming up with a way to fund the government. What do you see there? <laughs> oh, and just that. Let's fund <laughs> just the government. Right. Quickly. All right, <laughs> quickly. Um, the hope is, and it looks like both the House and Senate, both parties are moving towards just a continuing resolution to kind of punt this down the road, fund government at the end of this month for maybe another month or two while they try and work out a more detailed bill. But today, Judy, there were many signs that that next debate is going to be worse than this one for two reasons. One, uh, the topic of abortion has come up again and what funding is restricted or not for abortion. And also the president's decision to divert that funding from military projects for the wall. That is a hot issue and it's hard to figure out how they will get past it, but they will try and delay that harder debate if they can until around Thanksgiving. Lisa Desjardins, you had to have your track shoes on today. <laughs> I did, I wore flats today, <laughs> yes. <laughs> So the congressional agenda, as we know, depends in large part on President Trump's own priorities. Our White House correspondent, Yamish Alcindor, is back. So, Yamish, let's talk about some of this. The president met with Republican lawmakers today. What are you learning about what, if anything, they agreed on how to proceed? Well, the big priority of this administration is, I'm told, to come up with some sort of gun law legislation. I'm told that the president is thinking through exactly what that's going to be. The White House wants to release a plan as early as late this week or early next week. And I'm told that the president wants to focus on mental health issues. So he's interested in either changing the laws so that the background checks that people go through now federally, that they might include some sort of mental health welfare check. There's also this idea that the White House might come out with a plan to strengthen and, and make it harder for people um, who are having a possible mental breakdown to get a gun or keep their gun. But White House officials have not been very clear about what the president believes. And Republicans on the Hill are really waiting for the president to give them a strong sort of direction about where he wants to go on gun legislation. The other thing to note is that, as Lisa was talking about impeachment procedures, this White House is gearing up for a fight on impeachment. They feel as though the impeachment procedures that are being possibly voted on in the House Judiciary committee, that that's going to be an affront to the president. And they're ready to fight on that. They're also ready to fight on the idea that the president's White House aides and his allies may be called up to the Hill. They're thinking through whether or not they're going to have some sort of privilege that they're going to assert there. So there's a lot the White House is juggling, um, but the number one thing is on guns and impeachment. And Yamisha, I want to ask you about the administration and science. There's been this controversy over in the last number of days about how this 
uh, drawing appeared on a map of the weather uh, of the Hurricane Dorian, uh, it, what it, how bad it was going to hit the United States, whether it was going to hit the state of Alabama, which appeared in that drawing uh, that we saw in the White House. What are you hearing at the White House right now about these questions about whether the White House is interfering in uh, the appropriate role of, of agencies that conduct science? Well, this was an issue that started off small that people thought was going to go away and that the president has essentially dragged on and on and on. Um, and the White House essentially says the president was right and that people are making too much of this. But the head of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration came out and said what the weather should not be politicized. And there's this idea that the Commerce Secretary, Wilbur Ross, was actually threatening employees at NOAA um, to fall in line with the president and not talk about the fact that Alabama was not going to be impacted by the hurricane. Ah, so much for you to keep track of, uh, Yamish, between uh, John Bolton and all of this. Yamish Alcindor at the White House, Lisa Desjardins at the Capitol. Thank you both.